My name is Zachary Hamilton. I'm a mechanical engineering major. What made me come to Prairie View is, luckily I didn't have any colleges recruiting me out of high school. Um, graduated high school with no offers, uh, no point of direction or any college. I went to Prairie View because I knew one of my friends went there. So I literally Googled Prairie View and applied to, for application. Ended up going to the Roy G. Prairie program as an uh, engineering major. Things just took off from there. Uh, when I first entered the university, people were like, you don't want to hoop with us outside. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to mess up my knees. You don't think you're too good to hoop? So I met one of the basketball players out there on the hardwood. He said, if I play him one-on-one, -on -one, he can get me in touch with the coach. His name was Montreal Scott. So I played him one-on-one, -on -one, beat him one-on-one, -on -one, he put me in touch with the coach. Uh, ended up walking on that semester. And um, every year I just got better in all aspects, offense, defense. The games have become fun. Um, couldn't shoot in high school, learned how to shoot in college very well. Um, I just took off. Being a team captain, that was just, just discipline and responsibility that coach handed down to me. Um, it was a great experience. It was a great experience. After I graduate, that's in five days, um, I'll start work as a project engineer in Houston. Um, I kind of wanted to go overseas and play basketball, but I kind of took a larger aspect of what I wanted to do. Uh, a lot of guys are in play college basketball. They want to go overseas and continue to chase their dream. Just want to do something different. Um, my love for basketball kind of goes hand in hand. My mom always taught me, she's like, you must work before you play. So my play was basketball all my life. Basketball is something that I, I thought was my identity for most of my life. Um, it's just, it's fun. Every time you pick up a ball, it's interesting. Like, every time I see a ball rolling, I want to pick it up, I want to shoot it. It's the same things that you enjoy as a kid. Sometimes the ball stops rolling, so you need to have something else as a backup plan in case basketball doesn't work out. Basketball worked out great for me, but I just wanted to do something new before the ball stopped rolling. Um, I love it dearly. Uh, as the way it translates to the classroom, uh, it gave me discipline. Uh, it made me want to do uh, other things besides just bouncing the ball. I could have 30, 40 points one night. If I come back in class, I want an A in that test. Just being resilient, just being more than just an ordinary basketball player, being more than just an athlete. That's what really motivated me throughout that process. All right, so I played my four years already straight. NCAA, they offered a four-year eligibility of uh, active years you can play, so I didn't redshirt. Uh, thank God I didn't get injured. So from 2014 to 2018, I played straight through. So I never missed a game, never missed a practice. Um, the Prairie View team this past year, they won SWAC. Um, that's great for the program. Uh, I wish I could have been a part of it, but that's not the way life works. Um, I think I helped contribute to, to changing the program. Uh, it was a different culture when I first entered into Prairie View. Uh, the HBCU experience is unmatched. Um, not talking down on any PWIs, it's still a great education. Still get your diploma, your degree, and move on further in life. But as far as HBCU, it kind of gives you a, a feeling of empowerment when you're going into, out into the world. Uh, one thing that Prairie View taught me is about how to be a, how to be a true black man. So like how to conduct myself in, in different audiences, different societies, uh, how to respect myself before somebody else can respect me. Uh, Prairie View really challenged me just to, to grow up and just be a man about my business. Uh, not to ask for, for handouts, but to earn everything. And don't ask for anything unless, unless you already earned it. I wanna have a scholarship uh, named by me where I give back to walk-ons who are uh, student athletes at Prairie View. Like any student athlete has walked on, male, female, black, white, red, it doesn't matter. Uh, just to give back to walk-ons, because I know how hard that is for that process, uh, being a student athlete and going to school. So just, just to give them a scholarship that they earn with minimum requirements, like a 2.5 GPA, 3.0, uh, I think that would be great. It's just, just been a sprint. So now like, it kind of slows down because you're about to graduate, because now you're trying to slow down because you're like, all right, let me enjoy this, but it's here. So I graduated in five days. I know a lot of people, they, they get kind of discouraged whether they graduate in four years or five years, seven years. It's just you're running your own race. So I ran my race, I'm just ready just to finish.